going on, everybody? Welcome back. Spotlight 39, man. I'm Rob Odie. We got another special guest. We're doing some more film breakdowns at the QB level. It's a special one, man. This young man just announced his commitment. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take anything away from him. We got we got the QB trainer here, QB one trainer. So go ahead, tell us who you are, where you're from, for those that might not know who you are, and a little bit about who we're about to watch, who just recently committed to Miami. Yeah, so my name is Baylin Trujillo. I'm a quarterback trainer in Orlando, Florida. Been blessed enough to do this profession for 10 years now. Train over 34 Division One athletes. Got about six or seven currently in the NFL and the CFL playing that I've trained. And uh, just been blessed to do this, this profession for a while and build connections and build opportunities for kids that I train to live out their dreams of playing college football. But again, I, I'm not the good job coach. I'm not there to baby your kids. I'm there to make them the best because if they stick out through my process, chances are they can live out their dreams. So we're about to be introduced to a kid that I've developed since he was 10 years old. His name is Darion Coleman from Jones High School, who plays under my former head coach at Oak Ridge, Coach Elijah Williams, who played at Florida and the Atlanta Falcons in the NFL for a little bit. And he changed my life just like he changed this kid's life. And so I've been able to see this kid develop since he was 10 all the way to where he is at now on his birthday as a Miami Hurricanes commit. And I'm so excited for him. And he's my first hurricane. You know, I've trained some FSU guys. I got two quarterbacks at the University of Florida right now that I've trained. And uh, he is my first quarterback to commit uh, to the University of Miami. So I'm very excited about that as a Hurricanes fan myself. It's always been a dream of mine to train and develop one. And the funny thing about this kid that we're going to watch, um, Darion, I told him at a young age at 10, I knew he was a phenom. Uh, I got him into some big time news articles and did some news stories on him on TV in Tampa and Orlando. And I knew this kid at a young age was going to be the next big thing because of his arm talent. And he was throwing an NFL ball at 12 years old with DeAndre Francois and training with NFL guys and made it look very easy at 12. And I'm just like, man, this kid needs to be marketed the right way so that he's on the big stage for moments like this. And so I would always tell him as a kid, you know, I'm preparing you and training you to be in the next Miami Hurricanes quarterback. And at that time, Oklahoma was putting out Heisman winners and, you know, it was the big quarterback thing. So, you know, his whole thing was, well, I'm going to play at Oklahoma because I want to win a Heisman. Well, we know as, you know, as things go on and years go on, Lincoln Riley is now at USC and, you know, Oklahoma is still who they are. And it was an opportunity for him to play for them, actually. He got offered by Coach Seth Luttrell, the OC there. They really loved him at Oklahoma. And um, great job to Jane O'Neill. But, you know, it opened up the door for Miami to come in late with Coach Shannon Dawson, my relationship with him and Coach Cristobal. And uh, they've been waiting for this moment. You know, they've been waiting to really see the growth of Darion the last year and his, and his size and his development on the field. And uh, he put on a show at the University of Miami not too long ago and uh, won back-to-back -back championships in 7-on-7 seven -seven against the best competition, in the obviously, in Miami. And I'm excited. I, I love this for him. I am a massive Miami Hurricanes fan, so this means a lot to me. And you know, Darian's just a special talent, man. I love this kid to death. He's been introduced to my family. He's been a part of, I've been a part of his life for 17 years, or not 17 years, seven of his 17 years. And um, it's just awesome to see him develop into who he is on the field. And I'm going to be honest with you, in his recruitment, you know, a lot of people were, were blown away by, with his arm talent. I mean, if you watch it, his quick release, his explosiveness through his lower body, I mean, everything works in sync when you're watching him train here. His footwork's elite. You're, you would see in this video compared to my other guys, I can put him through workouts like this. You know, the, his footwork is on a whole different level when it comes to this stuff. And he's able to match his lower body with his upper body. And it's always in sync. And he's got so much twerk in his lower body. It's explosive. I mean, that ball just jumps off his hand. And he is the best arm talent that I've ever trained. And I will say that in front of anybody because I believe it. I've seen it. I've trained it. And I've developed it. And now he's where he's at as a Miami Hurricanes commit. Bill Canes. Yeah. There it is. And, uh, you know, come full circle, small world. Jones came up to, to Maryland in the DMV last year, right? And they played uh, good council. I was fortunate enough to be there with my guy, Coach E, um, you know, and got a, a little snapshot of, of what he had to offer in, in real life. So that was pretty cool. Uh, but look, we're going to get to the film. We're going to see what the film looks like. And you're going to walk me through another elite, elite talent who just recently committed to your favorite program, the Miami Hurricanes. Sound good? Yes, sir. Go Canes. One. All right. So we talked about the film. We talked about an elite talent quarterback. I mean, this this guy is just that. I got to see a snapshot when he came up to the DMV, uh, made the trip from Florida to play good counsel. No pushover, no, no easy game. It was fun to watch. Um, so let's just get to the film, man. Walk me through it. 
tell us what we don't know and, and maybe some things that we do about the, the most recent Miami Hurricane commit. Yeah, Darion started actually on varsity as an eighth grader at Fort Meade, and he lit it up, and he was small, one of the smallest on the field, but his arm was the biggest on the field. And so he earned an opportunity to start on varsity as an eighth grader, get a lot of attraction in Polk County. And, I, again, I've been developing this kid since he was 10, so I knew at some point I was going to grab him and take him to Orlando, and he's going to play under Elijah Williams, again, the same guy who changed my life. Uh, and I knew at some point we're going to make that transition. And so his parents – trusted my process with him and we landed at Jones high school uh, again, where Elijah Williams is. And that's really the only reason why he's there. And they have the best town in Orlando or one of the best. And he, you know, he's, he's out there and he bet it on himself. I mean, when he got there, you know, a four-star Ole Miss quarterback uh, transferred in and was, you know, the plan was to win a state title last year. They had all the talent to do so. And, you know, Darion did his thing and, and, and he played a lot. Uh, I'll just say that. And, uh, and that just shows you who he is. I mean, Trevor Jackson is the real deal. And, you know, Darion, he just went, he made his opportunities count when they mattered and, and he went in there and did his thing. And it, that's why he's got 20 plus offers on half a season. You would imagine if he actually played an entire season, he, you know, he put up big numbers and, you know, that's splitting time. And so he is elite when it comes to elite. He's a, he's a, I'm telling you, he's on a whole different caliber when it comes to this, this football game. And um, his dad was very hard on him as a kid. So he already got that, you know, that mental discipline. And then of course my training and how I've developed him and he's always trained with the best athletes that I've had. His dad's always trying to match him up with all, all the best kids at camps and matching up in trainings to just compete. And that's all he does is compete, compete, compete. And uh, nine times out of 10, if not 10 out of 10, he's winning those, those competitions. So I, I, I can't say it enough how amazing arm talent this kid has, and it's effortless. He doesn't have to use much in his body. Everything is in sync, and he flicks the ball, and the ball goes 60, 70 yards. I mean, there's a play on here that you you just watched. He's jumping in the air and threw a 55 yards for a touchdown, getting hit from both sides. And he loves contact, and that's another thing about Darion. So, again, and the best part about this film is he's actually describing – what he's doing on this film. So as you just saw, escape the pocket, throwing on the run, sitting in the pocket, taking a shot. Again, he loves contact. He welcomes it even with his size, and he's able to make any throw on the field look effortless. And again, I I keep saying, I think I've said it three or four times in this in this podcast, but he has the m most elite arm I've, I've ever trained, period. And again, I've trained a lot of good ones as we were talking about in these last couple episodes um, and he's at the top with his release and how, how efficient he is, how accurate he is, his decision-making. Again, there's not a ball on the field he can't throw and a route on the field he cannot deliver. So uh, he's a competitor, and I, I expect big things his junior year. And if he continues to product, uh, do production like this for a whole season, uh, look for Jones to win state this year. That's, look, that's a big, bold prediction. So let, let's, let's extend on that. Talk to me. What's the season going to okay. look like? Where's it going to finish? Yeah, I believe Jones is going to win the state championship. Um, you know, I think that there's a lot of great teams in Orlando. They got a lot of good matchups, and I'm excited about, especially with like Seminole to kick off the season. And uh, you got Edgewater still lingering out there as a rival in Orlando. You got a couple big games, man, that I'm very, very excited about. Uh, but I think with a full season as a starting quarterback, uh, obviously coming with a lot of momentum as a Miami Hurricane commit. You know, representing the green and green and orange, I think the sky's the limit for this kid, and I think he's going to have a breakout year and look for him to set a couple Jones Jones records, especially under Coach Eliza Williams' offense. And again, make a bold prediction, but they're going to win state this year. And just for clarification, he's a class of twenty what? He's a class of twenty twenty six. Outrageous, man! Twenty six as a whole. Is just I, I said it I think two years ago somebody pulled it my my Twitter and I said 2026 is special like I have not seen a whole entire yeah. class this deep across the board um, and, and QB obviously is is no no exception I mean you've got we we talked about Noah we're talking about Coleman let's let's extend and and, and let's learn a little about who he is outside of the game so we. We learned a little bit about Noah's, you know, life off the field. Talk to me about Coleman's life off the field, man. Where, where is he at? What is he involved with? You know, who is he as a person? Yeah, he's just a fun kid that just loves to play video games, honestly. He's just – he's going to be on the video game if he's not playing football or any type of sport. He's just going to be a chill, laid-back kid who loves to stay at home, doesn't get involved with no drama. He's, he is drama-less. He doesn't care about nothing besides just staying within himself at home with his 
starship spaceship lights around his room playing video games at his computer desk so that's who he is he's just a laid back chill kid and uh but but when he's on the field is there is it's all business there ain't no games so um he's a special special human being he's got he got a dad that pushes him a mom that loves him and you know he's just he's got a lot of support around him got a lot of great family shout out to brody he, he takes care of him um, you know, there's just so many good pieces in his life that, that keep him on the, on the path of greatness. And of course he's part of my family and, you know, I love that kid. And, uh, he's just one of the, the most genuine dudes. If you actually get to know him, he comes across as, you know, a little arrogant, uh, when you see him in person, he's very confident in who he is as a person. Um, but man, I'll tell you what, just getting to know him, he's just, again, he, he treats my son well, he loves my son. Um, he, he even called me the day he committed to Miami. He was like, this is for you for happy father's day and happy birthday to your son, go Canes. And, you know, he knows how much this means to me, but again, this is about his journey and where he wants to go. And it just happens to, to play out the way we've always, you know, envisioned it. But, uh, he's just a genuine kid, man, that again, doesn't cause no trouble, loves to stay at home, play video games. But when, when, when it's time to play and train, it, it, it's no more games, all business. Man, that's awesome. So, you know, we just started the fireworks early. You know, we're, we're what, a day out from 4th of July. We got the big commitment. Uh, it's exciting. And you said, you know, he's, he's in the video game. And I think literally he's soon going to be in the video game, which is very exciting, right? I mean, yeah, these kids, you know, the they way, got to play it, yeah. you know, for a short bit. And now they're in the game. Like, I'm, I'm so excited. Yeah. I think if we, if you again, you take the time to watch his film. He he plays like he's a video game player. I mean, he makes the game look crazy easy. I mean, he kind of looks like Cameron Ward, who's currently at the University of Miami. I think he's got a lot of same attributes and similarities in his game with the deep ball, um, and then matching it with kind of like Lamar Jackson, his dual threats ability. But again, one thing about Darion, he is a dual threat kid, but he will lo he loves to stay in the pocket. He lives in the pocket. He delivers from the pocket, and again, he is not afraid of contact. He will take shots from every angle and deliver that ball in the pocket and he lives in there. And I think, again, it just shows you who he is as a quarterback and Miami's got a special talent. I'm excited because not only am I training him to be the best, I'm training him to be the best at the program that I love the most. So, I mean, imagine that he's, he's going to play for the university that I've been watching as a kid and grew up to be a fan of. And now I'm getting to mold him into hopefully them winning a national title. So I'm going to be a part of all of that stuff. And I, I'm so excited about the whole thing. I, I'm like a kid in the candy store. I got goosebumps right now talking about it. And I knew eventually, hopefully one of my guys in this 26 class was going to rep the orange and green. Um, you know, Noah took all, he took himself off the board going to Notre Dame. And then Brady Hart goes to Michigan. Now we got Darion committing today to Miami, uh, which is now my hurricane. Michael Clayton was on top of Miami's boards for a while too. And I know that was one of his you know favorite schools that he's been to. And Miami was in the top three or four for both Noah and Brady. So, I mean, my goodness, I, at some point it was going to click. And now I've got my quarterback that I've developed the longest since he was 10 years old. Uh, and he's going to be repping the green and gold, staying in the green or green and orange, staying in the green and orange like he is at Jones. Um, and uh, I'm all about the U and so is he. So I'm excited for this. And I, uh, I can't believe this is actually happening and it's his birthday. So we're going to say it till to the day that I die. And he's going to hopefully say it till he's out of the school and hopefully forever. Go Canes. I love it, man. So happy birthday, Darian Coleman. Go Canes, the newest commit out of the 26th class. Uh, man, the Hurricanes has got a good one. This is another elite quarterback breakdown with one of the best in the business, man. So I appreciate you. Spotlight 39, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, like, share, all that fun stuff. Help these kids get out there even more for those that might not know who they are, right? But more importantly, you know, let's just show them that love, man. These are still kids. So comment down below, show your love for Miami Hurricanes, say happy birthday, all that fun stuff. Till next time, I appreciate y'all.